you were all smiles after that home run. We know what you have been through from last season to now. How good did that feel? Felt really good. Felt really good. Um, just a, a, you know, a testament to our to a, entire staff today. Glass, glass was nasty, uh, like always. So it's it's always fun being in the outfield out there and just seeing him do his thing. Um, just a, a solid team effort today. You know, pitchers were lights out and. Um, it, we knew it was going to come down to one swing, and, you know, being able to do that felt really good. But, Austin, for you personally, how did it feel considering the journey that you've been on, wanting to put 2020 behind you? Yeah. Um, you know, last year was, was obviously tough, and you learn a lot. You know, you learn a lot from, uh, you know, from a lot of failure. And I think for me, um, just personally, just putting things into perspective and, you know, for me coming back stronger this year, uh, you know, kind of taking into the off season and just, you know, you know, working my butt off and, and continuing to do what I can to, to be the best I can be. And, um, you know, you know, we're off to a good start this year. It's a long year, but I'm looking forward to continuing to compete with the guys. You alluded to it, but getting this win and starting the season off on a high note, especially watching your pitcher Tyler Glass now do what he did. How gratifying is that? It, it's awesome. Um, like I said, Glass is electric. He's got electric stuff. Um, you know, he makes guys look silly up there. And it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, glad he's on our side and you know, for him to get that first opening day start and absolutely, you know, shove and have a great game. Uh, it was just really fun to watch. And um, like I said, even not him, but all of our pitchers today were were, uh, were lights out. And, you know, that's just, uh, you know, our strengths. And it's fun to, you know, fun to be behind for sure. We got to start, you know, with Tyler Glass now, six innings, one hit. I mean, could you have asked for more efficiency from that performance? No, he was outstanding. Re really good. He had it all gone. We talked about how he had a Really solid spring training. Uh, it's nice to see when it comes together. I know there's some, some, you know, being opening day, it's just magnified that much more. I thought Tyler did a great job of kind of staying within himself, controlling his, um, how amped he, we, we know he can get. Uh, but just looked the part, looked like an opening day starter, looked like an ace. Um, Fortunately, we're going to get to see him pitch a lot more. And Austin, we all know what he's been through and the fact that he wants to put 2020 behind him. He did so first day of the season. How gratifying was it to see him? Be he's another one. He had a good spring. He, he worked really hard to, to get back in shape. Um, to where, you know, that 2019 form, Austin's got a chance to be a really special player, special hitter um, uh, in the league on our team, obviously. Uh, he picked us up in a big way. He got himself in a 2-0 count and got a fastball and, and didn't miss it. Um, you know, that inning kind of unfolded. Manny had a good at bat. Yoshi just missed the ball. Uh, and then Austin made, made, made the most of his 2-0 fastball. Hey, Kevin, we, we talk about sometimes somebody goes in the game, the ball always finds them. So here you have, you don't have Nick Anderson the first game, one nothing lead. You've got to put it on the bullpen. The job that Pete did, wriggling out there, and then Castillo at the end. Yeah, and, and Thompson. Uh, yeah. Look, we, we recognize how special and valuable that Nick has been to us. Uh, but saying that, Nick has been good um, in large part because of the guys around him. And we saw that. We're going to need to continue to see that. Uh, we won a game today pretty much how we're built. And we're not going to win every game one nothing, But to be in a tight ball game and really rely heavily on a talented group from Glasnow to the rest of the guys that came in with no margin of error, um, we got it going right out of the gate. So <laughs> it seems like every time we play in this ballpark, we have a, just a lot of tight ball games for, for whatever reason. And what, was there something about Glasnow that you told you early on today that he was going to be on maybe even before the game or anything? No, uh, I, we were actually concerned a little bit. His back kind of tightened up a little bit. That was the reason why uh, he wasn't swinging. He's worked so hard all spring training on his swing. So uh, that's why he went up there and statued. But uh, it didn't affect him to pitch. It was more, uh, uh, well, swinging rotational or running. Uh, it just kind of locked up on him. I, I think we're all pretty confident he's totally fine just given the the body of work that he put together um but to answer your question you know, i think personally i just keyed off the strike throwing he fell behind 2-0 to the first guy comes right back in the zone and the efficiency and willingness just to command the ball in the zone the entire uh six innings just to follow up real quick when did you guys find out about his back and was there a chance he would have scratched today no we didn't find out until the um I think the sec first or second inning. 
but he was adamant. I mean, I, look, I give Tyler a lot of credit because two years ago, I don't know if he's able to manage that that way. He's you know, certainly come a long way uh, in understanding his body and, how, and and understanding how much he means to our club. He, he assured Kyle and I and Joe that he was good. It was not affecting him to pitch. It was just coming off the mound if he had to cover a base or or obviously swinging. Kevin, talking about this kind of glass now, understanding himself, what does it say about him? Impressive that, I mean, that slider didn't really exist two months ago, and he's using it like a primary breaking ball in major league games. What does that say about him? He's really talented. Um, now we're going to have a bunch of guys come out with new pitches, and I hope it goes as well for, for them as it does Tyler. But, look, Tyler's just, he, he's special. Uh, the way he can manipulate the baseball, the power that he features, uh, with all of his pitches, the amount of depth that he creates on the breaking ball, the, the you know the cut takeoff action on the fastball, there's just not a ton of pitchers in this game that that feature you know his weapons. There's some guys that are very very talented, no denying that. But uh, you know I think it's fair that Ty Tyler is right in that that mix. Now it, it, the search is for for him and a lot of other guys just to find that consistency. You got to see the slider all spring, but were you surprised at all at how much he used it right out of the gate there? No, uh, I, I, if you'd asked me that, you know, first or second start of spring, definitely, because uh, it was a work in progress. And, you know, we saw sometimes the curveball and the slider would kind of morph into one pitch, and that's not something that we want to do. Um, so him and Kyle have worked really hard to – have that distinction between the two pitches. Uh, one is at 89 to 91, and the other one is, you know, the curveball of the 84 to 87 with just a, a, a different break, you know, gets more depth. Um, I think in the Minnesota start uh, might have been his last. That was the start that he kind of put it together, and he was facing their A lineup, and he relied on that just as much as his, his, his normal curveball and his fastball. Anything else for Kevin? Going back to Austin for a second, what what can you know? You saw some signs this spring. You talked about how he was able to turn on some balls on some of the homers he hit this spring. Does he look uh, physically and you know potentially back to that 2019 form? He looks really good, uh, and I know Chad has been really, really excited about the work that they they put together in the cage. Um, Chad is, and Ozzy have said, look, like, look, when we're in the cage, there are things that he was not able to do. He just couldn't get into his body into position um, for whatever reason last year. I'm sure that COVID had a lot to do with it, not being as, you know, as strong as he would like to be. Uh, this spring, uh, Chad has been adamant about him being in a really, really good spot and being able to kind of pick up the routine that they they created together in 19. Um, and it's kind of it's been pretty seamless ever since he's come into camp. Uh, timing was good. I was able to land a lot of my pitches for strikes. Uh, I think I struggled a bit with like two strike put away pitches. I think I was kind of leaving a lot of stuff in the zone, but overall, I felt really good. Tyler, that third pitch, that slider, it was quite effective today. <laughs> How gratifying was that to go out there and use that third pitch in the season for the first time and, and, and see it work the way it did? Yeah, I had seen a lot of success with it in spring, and uh, it definitely felt good to, like, feel how I felt in spring and then take it directly into the regular season. I know there's kind of a big shift sometimes, but, like, for me, the mentality, everything felt exactly the same. Um, I Honestly, so much of it, too, just working with Kyle and, like, how amazing he is with just even learning. That's the first time we've really kind of gotten down to trying to figure out a new pitch, and it was, like, two bullpens in, and we really started to, like, figure it out. And every bullpen, every throwing section, he's kind of been on me and stuff, so... Um, just it would spend awesome to work with him, and I'm just glad that third pitch is there for sure. <clears throat> hey, Tyler Cash told us you were pitching in a little bit of pain there. What happened with your back, and when did you feel it? Yeah, I just I don't know what was going on, but I mean, I was so excited to swing, and then today I was like, all right, I'm not gonna be able to. It was more of like running, something like something weird in my back. And I didn't want to chance it, I didn't want to swing or anything. Kind of unfortunate because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to swing again, but uh, maybe in early or something like that. but it was just something i wanted to avoid and uh it would be fun right well he said did it tighten up on you during the game that's what he thought or was it before the game it was before the game but i think as it went on it got a little it, it was weird it was like 
I didn't really I felt it a little bit pitching, but it was more of like just like running and twisting. So I just tried to like put as little effort into obviously like hitting as I could. I just didn't really want to. I, I thought too the strategy was like if I were to sit there and statue, maybe I could make it harder for the pitcher. And I don't know, but it ended up yeah. I just I kind of just didn't really do anything in private. Yeah, it feels, I'm okay now. I think you got five pitches out of him. So yeah, I mean, sure. There you go. I just know, like, I think a lot of pitchers thought, like, if you just go up and catch you, it can kind of be like a kind of a weird mind thing. So I just that was my strategy. It didn't work, but whatever. Maybe next time. <laughs> gotcha. And you, you, you obviously have been with Austin for a long time through the two organizations. To see him go through last year being so tough and then do his do what he did today, uh, pretty rewarding, I would assume. Yeah, I mean. It's been great. I think you just watching him come into season too, like how good he looked this off season and just all the hard work he put in. And it was such a weird year last year. So like both of us had COVID and you could just tell it was just, it was, it was kind of, it was just difficult. But I think just even the mindset he was in this year, you could just tell it was different. And uh, I think too, they asked a couple of players like who they think was going to hit the first home. I think Yarb said Meadows. So good for him, <laughs> but yeah, super happy for Meadows. It was an awesome, awesome day for him.